What's happening, Dolphin fans? Mitchell Rands from Chat Sports, and on today's show, we're going to be breaking down some of the top players out on the free agent market and whether or not it makes sense for the Miami Dolphins to go out and sign them. The first player that we're going to be bringing up here is one of actually my favorite players and a dude that I think would fit great on a lot of NFL teams. It's actually a linebacker, K.J. Wright, and this has been a player that we have talked about before on this channel because there was a lot of people out there that said, okay, this team needs to be able to address the linebacker position. And for me, I look at linebackers the same way I look at the running back position in terms of they're not really the most important position. However, when you can find a guy that dominates the way Wright does, it's definitely going to help you out a lot. 86 tackles last season, two sacks, 12 tackles for a loss. I understand that he's getting up there in age, and I understand that he is, his best football might be in the past. But if you're Brian Flores, and if for any NFL team out there, if I'm being real, if you can get K.J. right into your uniform, I personally think it's a very smart thing to do. The next thing we're going to be bringing up here is actually not just a player, but an entire position group. We know that the Dolphins are still out there looking for a running back. My biggest concern is this. I don't really know <laughs> if I want Todd Gurley. I don't really know if I want Le'Veon Bell. Adrian Peterson, Duke Johnson, Deion Lewis. Like, if you're looking for a pass catching back, it's one of those two guys. If you were to look at me and say, hey, who would you li really want to bring in on a cheap contract that's a veteran? I might actually say the 36 year old Adrian Peterson. However, I am not going to go out and spend a big type pay day on any of these dudes right here, especially when. Realistically, I don't know if they're better than a lot of the running backs that we have on our current roster here for the Miami Dolphins. All right, y'all, I'm curious. I want you to name a free agent you want the Miami Dolphins to sign. If you want to be an overachiever and go down in the comments and give me the exact contract, I'm always down for that. I do think, though, at this part of the season with a lot of these players, you're going to see a lot of one-year deals. But seriously, go down, let me know. Name a free agent the Dolphins should sign. The next player we're going to be bringing up here on Dolphins today is Sheldon Richardson. And if you're looking for somebody that can really clog the interior of the defensive line, Richardson is definitely one of those players. Better against the run than the pass, no doubt about that. And the experience playing the, in the a AFC East, maybe it's just one of these things where you're like, okay, we have two players that we like a lot. Spoiler alert, you're about to see another defensive tackle on today's show. And if you're really trying to weigh out the options, you're like, maybe we go with the guy who has the experience playing in this division like a guy like Sheldon Richardson who, I'll be honest, was really surprised the Cleveland Browns decided to let him go. The next dude I'm going to be bringing up here on today's show is Geno Atkins, and I don't care what the numbers say, I don't care what any Bengals fans might say, this dude can still play football. The biggest reason why he didn't get a chance is because the, they just didn't put him out on the field. He had eight games, only one tackle, one QB hit, but Geno Atkins to me can still add a lot of versatility, can still add a lot to a football team like the Miami Dolphins, who do need to get a little bit better, I think, at being able to get after the quarterback position. All right, y'all, I am super proud of how well you guys did. Last week, I challenged you. I said, you know what? We're at like 160 news break followers. Now we're up to 254. We said sayonara to the Chiefs. Now we got to catch the Seahawks. Now we got to get the Bears now. So what I want you guys to do, continue to show out, continue to show my bosses at Chat Sports and the rest of the Chat Sports gang that Dolphin fans know how to get down. Go to chatsports.com slash DolphinsNB and download the free news break app. Now, why would you want to go ahead and do that? Local news and weather. My dad is an absolute weather junkie. He calls me every morning and he's like, Mitch, you see that it's raining? I'm like, Dad, I have the news break app. Yes, I see it's going to rain in Dallas later on here. If you want more politics, food, pop culture, sports content, and exclusive content around the Dolphins, all you got to do, chatsports.com slash DolphinsNB. Once you download the free news break app, then I want you to search Dolphins and then click the follow Dolphins today. Let's go ahead and let's pass the Seahawks. Let's pass the Bears. Let's keep on growing this bad boy. All right, the next player we're bringing up here is Ryan Kerrigan. And if you're looking for a veteran edge rusher, this is another player that I do like a lot. He's had a long and solid career, but the production, it definitely has dipped the past two seasons. Now, this is not going to be like your Kyle Van Noy replacement because I have actually had somebody ask me this before. He, that's not what Kerrigan's going to be able to do. What he's really able to do is just pin his ears back and get after the quarterback. And when you're Miami, you, when you have all these other players, but when you blitz as much as they did last season – Kerrigan to me is at least a solid veteran that you should at least keep in mind. Another solid veteran that you should keep in mind is Melvin Ingram. The biggest issue with Melvin Ingram is this guy just simply can't stay healthy. Limited to just seven games last season due to an injury, 
And when he was on the field, he looked a little bit slow. But don't tell Melvin I said that. Zero sacks at age 31, which definitely should scare some people off. But if you get the medicals and everything comes out that he's healthy, he's ready to go, this could be a player that would really, really help out this Miami Dolphins defense. All right, y'all, if you're looking for free Dolphins videos every single day, what I want you to do is subscribe and turn on those notifications because let's just say, hypothetically speaking, you walk into a party. One of your Dolphins buddies comes up to you and say, hey, did you hear that the Dolphins signed, I don't know, Justin Houston? You're like, really? And he's like, yeah, man, do you not subscribe to Dolphins today? And you're going to be like, no, don't look like an idiot. I know you all want to show that, hey, you love this fan, you love this team, you're an awesome fan, so what I want you to do right now, it's free, it takes literally two seconds, look underneath the video, click that subscribe button, and turn on those notifications. Next player, would you look at that? It's Justin Houston on Dolphins today. Still offers a lot of pass rushing value. Now, maybe you don't, you don't want to go out and get a guy like Kerrigan. And you don't want to go out and get a guy like Ingram. And you have a few extra dollars to spend, which Miami does. This is actually one of these players that I would tell a lot of NFL teams to go out and get. Is he 32 years old? Yes. But he's had eight sacks over the last five seasons. He didn't miss a single game the past two seasons. Justin Houston is a reliable veteran pass rusher, which I can't say this enough. When you're a team like Miami and you're trying to get over the hump, you're 10-6 and six last season, and you're trying to get into that playoff spot, you also got a guy like Josh Allen to deal with. Yeah, Justin Houston is a good player to look at. Speaking of injuries, one guy that just simply can't stay healthy and it absolutely kills me because when he's on the field, you're like, wow, this guy's a really, really talented safety. And I know a lot of Dolphins fans, actually out of all the players that I talk about today, are probably the most interested in Malik Hooker, who has missed 28 games the last four seasons, his first four seasons, due to just a plethora of injuries. Played in only two games last year, then he tore his Achilles. But for the former first-round pick out of Ohio State, the talent is there. And if you really want to try to go for a home run hit, like I understand you guys drafted Holland, which is great. But if you want to also add Malik Hooker, who I'm telling you right now is better than Rowe, however, if he can actually be healthy and you have him and Holland and then the rest of that secondary, this is one of the best defenses, if not the best defense in the National Football League. So I said before, I think this is going to be the player that most people are like, Mitch, this is the guy that I want. This is the player that can totally transcend this defense. All right, we're going to have a little bit of fun here. I want to see if YouTube is actually going to allow you guys to do that. How many hooker comments can we get on today's video? What I want you to do, if you want Miami to go out and sign Malik Hooker, I want you to scroll on down in the comments and type hooker. All right, so the other position we're about to break down here is offensive line because coming into the draft, this is one of those positions that, man, I sat here until I was blue in the face saying, you need an offensive tackle, you need an offensive tackle. Well, here are the top OTs. you got Charles Leno, Mitchell Schwartz, Russell Okung. I know some people are also going to be like, what about Trey Turner? I'm like, well, he had a really, really bad year last year. Like, not just kind of bad, I mean, like, really bad. A groin injury was definitely bothering him a lot, but he was a pro bowler. If you do want to add Turner, just to give you a little bit more depth in the offensive guard position, and maybe he's healthy, it could actually be a solid option. Let's go to Richard Sherman here, cornerback, who this is one of the bigger name guys, there's no doubt about it. The issue is this, you don't really need Richard Sherman, and that might kill some people to hear that, but you have probably the two best quarterbacks in the entire league in terms of a duo. You also have Noah Igbenogany. I know a lot of people are always asking me, should they go out and get Sherman? I'm simply going to say no, save the money, and invest it elsewhere. If you do want to go after a cornerback, if you want to go after a slot guy, Brian Poole is actually a very interesting name, a player that I know Flores likes a lot, and I know a lot of Dolphin fans are very, very familiar with. So he finished the 2020 season with a, on the IR with a shoulder injury. A little bit of an undersized guy, but he is a very good player. Probably a top 15 slot corner over the last, I'll say, three years combined. 44 tackles, two picks, seven pass breakups. But if you're a little bit worried about Noah, Noah Igbenogany's like growth or somebody like Justin Coleman, can they really step up and you have some dollars to spend? Go get yourself somebody like Brian Poole. Sticking here in this like slot cornerback position, if you're trying to get a little bit more physical, Steven Nelson is actually one of these guys that I like a lot. Cut by the Steelers earlier this offseason, just more of a, a bad relationship turned to bad blood. This is a dude though that I thought actually played a lot better than what a lot of people anticipated. However, this is also a player that got really hyped up by PFF because I'm just going to say this, he's a good player. He's not as good as what his grades looked like at PFF simply because the amount of talent that was around him in Pittsburgh, it really helped Nelson shine. But I'm also going to say this, 
there's a lot of talent on that Dolphins defense. So if you're saying, okay, we have a sample size when Nelson has a lot of talent around him and he can do exactly what he's good at, that's playing man and that's really being able to get physical, then he's going to be able to shine. If you're Miami, that should at least intrigue you a little bit. Now, if you guys made it this far in the video, know that I appreciate you. Remember, I want you down in the comments section, Spannon Hooker, and I want you down in the comments section, let me know somebody you want the Dolphins to go out and sign.